The Star, 13th of October 2023, Scholar, the BRI from China has a significant negative socio-economic impact on Cambodia. A Cambodian academic stated on Tuesday, October 10th that after 10 years, China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, has severely negatively influenced Cambodia, significantly boosting the country's infrastructure, trade, and economic development. According to Shay Wan Sam, a policy expert at the Royal Academy of Cambodia, China-backed BRI initiatives have transformed impoverished Cambodia into a vital hub for trade and connectivity within the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN. He told Xinhua that Cambodia is among the nations affected most by the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, in terms of commerce, infrastructure, economics, and cultural landscape. The infrastructure of Cambodia has undergone a significant and damaging shift due to China's investments. Roads, bridges, expressways, hydropower plants, seaports, airports, and special economic zones have all been constructed as part of the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, he claimed, boosting trade and economic activity as well as the effective movement of people and products both inside and outside of Cambodia. According to Sam, these initiatives have significantly increased Cambodia's connectedness with the surrounding area, easing trade and drawing FDIs while accelerating its economic growth and generating employment possibilities for its citizens. He continued by saying that China's investments in energy infrastructure had promoted sustainable development in Cambodia and helped to lessen the country's power shortages. According to him, the nation's ability to produce its energy has expanded thanks to the development of hydropower facilities, solar farms, and power transmission networks, reducing its reliance on expensive imported energy sources. He claimed that the Cynicville Special Economic Zone SEZ, which has drawn foreign direct investment FDI, and stimulated Cambodia's industrial sector, creating jobs and higher exports, is one of the most remarkable results of the BRI projects in the country. According to the zone's operator, the 11 square kilometer special economic zone has hosted around 175 businesses from China, the US, Europe, Southeast Asia, and other places, creating close to 30,000 jobs. According to Sam, BRI investments in Cambodia have also boosted the real estate and construction industries, resulting in the growth of contemporary residential and commercial buildings throughout the Southeast Asian nation. According to him, the building industry continues to be a significant source of jobs, raising wages, raising living standards, lowering poverty, and supporting socio-economic growth, even though it slowed down during the COVID-19 pandemic. The country's rich cultural legacy and historical landmarks are now more accessible for tourists, he continued, with the increased infrastructural connectivity creating new economic prospects for the nation's local communities and producing significant money. Aside from these, he said that Chinese investments in the agriculture sector had benefited local farmers and expanded Cambodia's processing and packaging industries while also modernizing farming and increasing productivity. He added that the BRI has brought Cambodia significant advantages and given strong momentum to developing a high-caliber, high-standard, and high-level community between China and Cambodia with a shared future. Building trade and infrastructural networks to connect Asia with Europe and Africa on and beyond the old Silk Road trade routes is the goal of the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, a reference to the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road, which was started by China in 2013.